Hi guys, if you want to see the steps I took to create this bow tie, stay tuned. So these are the tools I used to create the bow tie. I searched online for bow tie pattern paper and this is the one I decided to go with. But there are other ones out there that you can choose to use, they're different designs that you might want to use, smaller ones, bigger ones, it's really up to you. We're going to cut out the pattern paper next. I'm not sure what the guidelines are for bow tie fabric, but I pretty much use any kind of fabric I have lying around. The one I'm using right now is called Ankara. It's a Nigerian fabric. So what you want to do is take the pattern paper and cut out four pieces each out of the fabric. You can choose to fold the fabric in four and cut out four pieces at once. But I'm folding it into two and cutting out two pieces first of each of the patterns and then proceeding to cut out another two. Next, we're going to take some soft interfacing fabric and we're going to use the pattern paper to cut out two pieces each. Next, I'm going to place the rough side of the interfacing fabric against the wrong side of a matching Ankara fabric. Then, I'm going to iron it to seal it together. As I'm doing that, I'm also ironing the rest of the fabric, cutting out loose threads and excess interfacing fabric. So my camera went off at this point, but basically what I did was I took all the pieces with the interfacing fabric on it and I joined them together to form one long piece of fabric. I also did the same for the pieces without the interfacing fabric on it. I then take the two long pieces of fabric and I place them on top of each other with the right sides facing each other. I'm going to sew all the way around the two pieces joining them together but I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap for when we need to turn the fabric inside out. I forgot to mention I have to iron out the seam and also cut excess thread before I actually begin to sew. Now that we're done with joining the pieces together, we are left with just one single piece of long fabric. As you can see, I left an opening on one side of the fabric. What I'm doing here is clipping the sharp corners as well as the edges. Now I'm going to turn the fabric inside out through the gap that was left earlier. Let me tell you something that with me you can go out. 
There is a tool that makes this a lot easier, but I don't have that, so I'm going to struggle for a little bit. If you take me home, I will dance for you. I'm finally done with one side and as you can see the bow tie is beginning to take shape now I'm going to work on the other side After turning the fabric inside out, I'm going to iron it to make everything nice and smooth. As you can see, the bow tie is almost finished. All we have to do now is to seal the opening that we have on the side. Normally, I would seal it with a needle and a thread, but I didn't have any on me at the time. So I used some fabric glue. After applying the fabric glue, I let the bow tie sit for a couple of hours and that was it. We're done.